That's the first way of adding file metadata. Now, if I want to add some additional metadata, or for example, look at the photo's metadata, I can do this here by clicking on the info panel, and it will show me the media type, file type, that's JPEG, the file size, the dimensions, resolution, current compression, current color profile. You can see there's a lot of information here. This is really helpful when you're learning you can experiment with changing different shutter speeds, changing different aperture settings, and visually see the effect that changing your aperture from f16 to f4 has on the depth of field in an image. Or if you're capturing sports and want to get just that right combination of blur and still motion, changing the shutter speed in significant increments, say from 1 1,000th one of a second or 500th of a second down to 1 30th of a second, and all the increments in between you can see laid out here on the table for you wow at 1 30th of a second I get just enough of sharp and just enough blur that that's the perfect combination for the sport that I'm shooting so this is one way that you can use the metadata that's embedded by the camera to really help you learn the craft of photography since we're on a workflow discussion we're gonna come back to the organization and the finding and the, the entering of metadata to help you find that one photo out of the entire bunch out of your entire image library the next thing that we can do is add our own keywords. So if I click on the keywords field and I click on the plus sign here, I see that I'm adding to the term of keywords and I'm just going to call this flowers and select OK. And I'm going to go ahead and select another one and just call it orange. You never know when you might be uh, doing a design or a layout or a scrapbook page and you're looking for a specific color. So it's always worth adding more terms than you think that you'll be using because you never know what you'll need to search for years from now. So there are a couple different ways of adding this metadata. If I go in and I select all, I can drag the photographs directly on top of that orange icon and on top of the flowers. Let me go ahead and add a, another keyword and this time I'm going to select my images beforehand go through and control click on these three vertical images and I'm going to add a term add a term vertical and if I check this box here it will apply that term to the selected items select OK and now when I want to do a search for just the items with a given keyword I can click on this circle adjacent to the vertical keyword and it will display only the three photographs that have been tagged with the keywords of vertical. Once you've gone through and begun adding your keywords, it's very helpful to return to seeing all of the photographs. Click on the Home button. Then it's also helpful to make sure that you embed this keywording information back within the original file itself so that when someone else looks for this term or you open this term in another application, that you can go under the metadata and see that you have indeed um, you have indeed added this keyword. I'm going to come under the edit menu, make sure that I've clicked in the thumbnail window here, and select all. Then I'm going to come under the action menu and select sync annotations. Now the sync annotations, I have the option to import annotations from the original files, with which you would use if you have um, added information in another program after you've already imported it into Expression Media Catalog. If you are importing the images for the first time, by default, Expression Media will already grab that metadata and keyword information from files, as you'll see in just a minute here. Instead, in this case, since we've added metadata and Expression Media, we want to push it back down to the original files. We're going to select Export Annotations to Original Files, choose OK, and watch the progress bar as it goes through and adds that information to each one, and we're done. Now what I want to do is show you how to create, begin creating your image library and start adding metadata to simplify the process of working with those images. So I'm going to close out of this catalog and not save it because the purpose of this was to import these images and add the initial metadata. Choose Don't Save. Next I'm going to come in and import items from files and folders. I'm going to navigate to my pictures folder and select import. So while I'm doing that, I've imported all of the photographs that are within that 
folder and you'll notice here that it's already begun adding the keywords that were already present. I've adjusted these photos in another application and I've ad begun adding the metadata. So when I bring it into my image library, it's already doing the work for me. Now that our image library has been created, we want to do a little bit more work to manage the image library and get ready to do some preparation to make sure that all of the files will be searchable based on the logical content that we've already created in our folder system. As you can see, the keywords have already been imported from existing files and this particular file has keywords of Alaska, Prince William Sound, Scenic, and Stock. But if we've already gone to the trouble of creating a series of folders with which we've been storing and organizing our images, we want to be sure that we can use that same structure within Expression Media. And Expression Media ships with a series of scripts. One of them is to create keywords automatically from the folders. Now, to use this script effectively, I want to come under the Edit menu and select all. So I select all my images, come back to the Scripts menu, and select Annotate, and Keywords from Folders. And this will create keywords from a folder hierarchy. So in my Pictures folder, I had one marked France, California, uh, Miscellaneous, Wyoming, and so forth. And you get to specify how many levels of the folder path you'd like to use. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to enter one folder heading. If I have multiple subfolders, I may want to increase that. You'll really want to tailor this depending upon how you've arranged the folders on your hard drive. Now I choose OK, and you'll notice that I have the one that's the date entered, then I also have Colorado, and I have France that's now been imported, and Maryland, and uh, Wyoming. So there, it's, it's added all this information in, and one of the last things that I wanted to do, and again, we did this in an earlier, uh, earlier tutorial, but I want to make sure that I do it again, is to select all, and under the action menu, sync annotations, and export annotations to original files. This will write these keywords back into the original media files, and not simply have them reside within the catalog. So I'm exporting that, and while that's exporting, we're going to want to spend some time discussing the ways to manage a large image library catalog to make best use of the tools that Expression Media offers. That we will cover in the very next tutorial.